One of the more fun things when you're using the curvature and the previous section is finding an arc length parameterization. You're probably wondering how. There's three steps in finding an arc length parameterization. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your arc length. Absolutely. Arc length is uh, the derivative of the position function integrated from your starting point, zero, to some other ending point, let's call it t. After you find that guy, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the inverse of it. When you find the inverse of it, call that phi of t. Great. And your arc length parameterization, right? Um, a tracing of your curve where each unit is a unit. Awesome. Let's go through and let's find an arc length parameterization for this R T. So what do we need? We need um, the derivative. So here we find R prime T. That's going to be, oh wait for it, derivative cosine, yeah, minus 4 sine t. Derivative of t is 1, and for sine t, this is going to be 4 cosine t. Very nice. So now we're going to want to find the magnitude of it. So then the magnitude of r prime t, that just so happens to be the square root of now I want to square each one of those components. This guy, this is going to be um, 16 sine squared t plus 1 plus 16 cosine squared t. Yeah. So then now that I got that, I can reorder terms, factor out of 16. And I see I got 16 times sine squared plus cosine squared. That's so Pythagorean. Yeah. So then that's one, and this all turns out to be the square root of 17. How's that looking? Mighty fine, mighty fine. Let's find my arc length. So then my s of t, that's the integral from zero to t of the square root of 17 dt. Great, that's a constant. So when we integrate it, we get square root of 17t. Excellent. All right, fine. Cruising on through. Let me find the inverse. Find the inverse. So here I have s of t. That's the square root of 17t. So what I want to do is I want to find phi. So I'm going to switch my s of t and my t. Um, um, yeah. So then, I've got my t being the square root of 17, s of t, where here we're trying to find the inverse, q of t. All right, now that we got that guy, we solve for q of t, or phi of t. And then that's um, t over 17, or the square root of. Now you could rationalize that if you will. But I'm going to be a little lazy. So now that I've found q of t, I'm on to my third step. My third step. My arc length parameterization is my original vector valued function evaluated at the inverse of the arc length. So this is r phi of t, which just happens to be 4 cosine t over root 17, t over root 17. 4 sine t over root 17, and then what? A box and grow a pair. 
one, two. If you don't believe me, check it. How are you gonna check that? How are you gonna check your work? Perhaps on an exam. Find the magnitude. What best it be? It best be one for any tea.